Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video demonstrates the steps to install the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services, AES, vApp within a VMware virtualized environment. The video you are viewing will demonstrate the steps to install the Avaya Aura Application Enablement Services, AES, vApp into a VMware hypervisor. The steps demonstrated will be performed using the vSphere client and the vCenter server to perform the administration. The OVF wizard will be used to install the application enablement services OVA file. That wizard will perform the provisioning of the network storage, defining the network interfaces to be used, and the management of the install. After the install completes, the vApp will be provisioned and AES APIs will be able to be available to external applications. I have opened the vSphere client and logged into the vCenter server which allows for administration of all the hypervisors controlled by this vCenter. The first step is to select a hypervisor. The hypervisor I have selected will be where this virtual machine will be installed. It is indicated on the left. The next step is to select the file menu and the choice of deploy OVF template. The OVF template wizard opens and the first entry is where the application enablement services OVA file is located. I am pasting in the HTTP link to the OVA file for the install. I have pressed the next button to advance to the next screen. The details of the OVA file are displayed. Pressing the next button advances to the next screen which is the license agreement. The license agreement is displayed. Press accept and the next button to advance to the naming of the virtual machine. I have given the virtual machine a unique name and press next to select the storage configuration. We will use a network attached storage. I have selected the NAS unit and press next which provides a view of the available storage. Pressing Next again advances to the screen selecting the various network interfaces. Application Enablement Services requires a single interface to be set in this release. I am setting that interface and have pressed Next to go to the Properties screen. The Properties screen defines the IP networking parameters. I am entering the AES Fully Qualified Domain Name. The default gateway on this network segment. the DNS servers, IP addresses, the AES Network 1 IP address, and finally the Network 1 net mask. I have pressed the Next button to advance to the summary screen. This screen summarizes the previous input. Validate your configuration. If all is correct, you would push Finish. You can use the Back button to adjust or to make changes. I have pushed the Finish button, which opens the Status dialog to indicate the install progress. I will return when the install completes. The install has completed successfully and I am closing the completion dialog. That concludes the actual OVA install. The next steps in the process are to provision the application enablement services AES virtual machine. Please refer to the published white paper for the additional steps necessary. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor.
For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.